Thinking is an activity. It is something that we are constantly doing even if we do not realize it. Even in our sleep, words are consist consistently racing through our minds searching for something interesting or meaningless. We all choose to use our minds in different ways, whether it be for work, school, memorizing, reading, it's all different. But some of us choose to use our minds the minimal amount as possible. Ladies and gentlemen and honorable judges, critical thinking is important. So what is critical thinking? Critical thinking is the ability to think clearly and rationally. It involves the ability to engage in reflective and independent thought. Now, there are some very important words in that definition, independent being one of them. As individuals, we have to be able to ask ourselves why. Why do we think the way we do? What is our thought process that dictates what we perceive as being right from wrong? A lot of it ties into our beliefs and social norms. We inherit what our parents possess as morals and values, and these things, ultimately, determine our whole lives. How we judge, how we make decisions, our ability to formulate opinions, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Critical thinking focuses on how we can eliminate everything in our head and think with reason. A great German theoretical physicist, Albert Einstein, once said, and I quote, the important thing is to never stop questioning. There are many components to critical thinking. I believe that one of the most important components is being able to understand and justify your own beliefs and values. To just say, I believe in this because my parents did and it was handed down to me is easy. But really ask yourself if that's what you believe in. Ask yourself why and really try to find out if that's your true opinion. Another component is based around logic. To have the logic to solve problems and equations systematically is crucial. For example, say something comes up in and around your life and you are forced to make a decision because a problem has come up. You have to logically find a solution that suits your needs as well as others. Critical thinking bases thinking around logic not feelings. It involves being open-minded to other people's biases and perspectives and to consider alternatives. You have to be open-minded but at the same time skeptical. If something doesn't feel or seem right to you, skepticism plays a huge role in finding out your true opinion. Someone who is very intelligent, knows lots of facts, well-educated, has a good memory, etc., is not necessarily a critical thinker. What would make this person a critical thinker would be how he deduces situations to solve problems, uses his intelligence to further inform him or herself in a relevant fashion, and to use his intelligence to better understand situations and their outcome. It's not what you know, it's how you use it. You can relate critical thinking to science, pretty much the exact same thing once you think about it. Scientists find a theory and then try to prove it using critical reason in experimentation. In critical thinking, you identify something, formulate an opinion or a solution, and then come up with a conclusion while still having a clear understanding on whatever that topic is. So what's the difference between critical thinking and regular thinking? Well, thinking is basically the act to produce thoughts. We think every day, all the time. Whereas critical thinking is basically thinking about thinking to go beyond the thinking process and to find out why we think the way we do. You can form a thought in regular thinking using no facts or information at all. For example, I could say, I'm going to school today. As simple as that. This would be an example of regular thinking. But if I were to critically think, I would say, I'm going to school today so that I can get an education and that I can get a job later on in life to be a working citizen in today's society. To go beyond to find the purpose and the meaning of everything. Often, critical thinkers ask themselves the six important questions. Who, what, where, when, why, and how on every situation. This is a very big flaw in today's education system. We are taught things that are useless, useless to us, so we forget everything within weeks. It is only once you've reached a higher level of education that you need to know how to think in order to progress in your profession. Learning to retain information by using critical thinking is arguably one of the most useful things you could do. It would serve you for the rest of your life and bring you much success. So let's all stop and take a moment to critically think. Thank you.